Yo, what is good YouTube? Today we're back finally with another Pokemon Skull and Violet VGC video and in today's video we're back on cart. It has been a hot minute since we've done uh, a cart battle. Your boy has uh, moved houses recently, so uh, it's been a bit difficult. But regardless, we're using a pretty fun team. As you can see here, this is a team that was crafted by Justin Tang, TSL Tang, and I believe Gavin Michaels. Um, they all used it over at the, uh, the Toronto Regional over the past weekend. Um, I believe Justin finished top 8. I think Gavin was top 16, and TSL Tang was top 32. Um, so an incredible performance by the team. Um, I believe they were the only three people who uh, piloted the team um, and all had fantastic results. You know, talking about a, a tournament that had like 550 players um and they all got top 32 which is very very incredible um obviously all very very strong players as well uh but really for me the thing that caught my eye in particular is salamence um for those who don't know you know salamence is arguably my favorite pokemon of all time um i have a very small group of maybe five pokemon uh, and salamence is in that list i absolutely absolutely love it um i've wanted to use it all year um i just don't have the the balls like these guys do to rock up to a regional with them on like salamence uh just because it's not considered as good as you know some of the other top pokemon in the metagame right now uh but for me i was super excited I saw this. I really wanted to use it. Um, and then you look at the rest of the team here as well, right? You got Iron Bundle, a mon that I think is incredibly good. Um, the spread for this thing is really sick as well. Um, TSL Tank did uh, share the pace for the team. Um, so I will drop that down in the description below if you guys want to see that. Uh, but the bundle set's sick. Um, you know, we're going to plot Golden Go here with Amoongus. Um, I think Amoongus with both Golden Go and Salamence is incredibly good. Um, we've also got Pelipper here to set the weather. Um, interesting enough, though, Salamence is our Tailwind setter, not our Pelipper. Really, really interesting, but I do think um, I do think Wide Guard in particular is really good right now. Uh, and then finally, you know, just an Assault Vest, Iron Hands. Um, it really just kind of holds the team together. I think this team is incredibly cool. Um, and I'm really excited just to use it on the ladder. Um, obviously, you know, if you guys don't, go check out the creators. Um, I'll leave the Twitter. I'll, I'll leave uh, at least the link to TSL Tang's uh, Twitter down below where he shared the post. Um, I would link all three, but that's too many links, right? So I'll, I'll link TSL Tang's if you want to go further. Check them all out. Um, obviously, you know, go follow them. All that good stuff. Anyway, boys, um, let's jump into some battles, eh? Okay, so starting things off here. Looks like we have a... What I'm assuming is a team kind of built around this like balance plus trick room. Um, obviously we do have to kind of worry here about the Farigaraf setting up trick room on us. Um, outside of that, they've got a pretty scary balance team. They don't really have speed control either, uh, which does mean my Salamence and my bundle are both pretty damn good here. Um, on, give me a second. I'm going to pull up the pace for this team just so I know what my team actually has. Uh, okay. Okay. So Amoongus is good here. Um, it doesn't look like our Amoongus is missing speed EV IVs though, which is kind of a problem. I'm not going to lie. Um, you want missing speed IVs to uh, under speed, Blood Moon, Ursa Lunar, and Trick Room. That's okay. I think we'll just lead Amoongus here. Um, is Amoongus plus Salamence okay? Probably not, right? I don't want to have to deal with the Okie Doge on turn one. Uh, because of that, I think we'll just go Golden Joe. Golden Joe Pelly. Um, do I want Salamence? Yeah, I'm going to bring Salamence no matter what here. Um, I want to make Salamence shine, and I think Golden Joe could uh, definitely, you know, uh, break holes through my opponent's team. Because um, I'm looking at his team here. It really comes down to whether or not he has safety goggles on anything, or if he's like Terra Grass on the um, the Clefairy. Um, that's kind of the scariest things I can really see off the bat right now. Um, obviously, Urshifu could be kind of problematic. Um, but without Terra Water, Am I honestly, Amoogus doesn't even have to Terra if it's rapid. Um... Fingers crossed it is not the Dark Urshi, because that's definitely a lot more difficult to deal with. Uh, especially without our Iron Hands, which might have been a bit of a mistake by me. Um, but I will say, though, this is a very, very offensive Golden Ghost set, which I personally love. Um, I'm a big fan of even on the plot, um, just running like quite high special attack. Uh, and we get to see this here. Okay, so... Um, this becomes like incredibly scary, right? Because... Ivy Cudgel is like so free into us right now. Um, who do I have in the back? I'm not that scared of the Water Ogre Pawn here, I don't think. I think we just look to sleep the right slot and just protect. Mm, do I protect or do I Terra Dragon? Nasty plot. The only issue I have with Terra Dragon Nasty plot is I think I have to go Terra, Gra or Terra Water Spore here. Oh, that's not it. Yeah, I think this is my only play, honestly. Because at least if I Terra Water, it allows me to, like, have a turn to set up. And then I don't care as much about the, um... I don't care as much about the, the Fire Ogre Pawn later. Okay, the question is, is he going to go for a ter Fire Terra here? If he goes Fire Terra... Okay, no, Ogie Dogie, don't be grass. Okay, it's Water. That's fine. That's fine. Um... 
Question is, can he kill a Moongus with a double up here? If, if he if he reads me and goes like a Horn Leech, then we might be in trouble. Uh, outside of that, I think we're okay here. It is kind of unfortunate though that this is the way it went, just because I would have loved to have um uh, got a Spore off into his Ogre Pawn, but obviously not the easiest thing to do. Uh, so he's got an Ivy Cudgel here most likely as well, right? Show me a Poison Jab. Okay, yeah, so that's fine. We eat that. Uh, and then even with a P-Jab follow-up here, I think we're fine. Oh, he goes Snarl. Okay. Oh, no, Mugus dodged it. <laughs> we love that. All right, um, so I do think... Surely my opponent always goes... Um... Mm, this is so risky. I think we go Pelly as we set up. Basically, the idea behind going Pelly here is even if he does Ivy Cudgel right, which I think is crazy, um, at least we get the rain up. And if he does go the grass move left, it's just neutral. And Pelly's not too bad on the physical end of things. Just go on the physical side of things. Okay, and he does go Ivy Cudgel. What a madman. We eat that. Oh my god, we don't eat that well. What'd that do? 98? We clawed up. We are lefties, so we we should be good to actually just fire off a um a hurricane left here. Pray to God Oki Dogi doesn't get the first turn wake up as well. 85. So that's not ideal, right? I said we took 98 to the last one. Just go hurricane protect here, I think. It sucks too, because I really need to get through the Oki Dogi to allow Salamence to kind of like sweep through. But at the same time, I think if we can get around the um, the Ogre Pawn here, then it puts us in a way better position. He didn't go for the Spiky Shield either. That's huge. I just pray to God a Snarl doesn't come out right now because that would be problematic. He just Ivy Cudgels again. Okay. Don't wake up. Don't wake up. Okay. Oh, we're faster. Oh, of course, we're timid max speed. He's not. And oh, that didn't pick up. Oh, we're confused. Oh my God. Okay. Don't wake up, don't wake up. Okay, good, 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 good. So, the question now becomes, is Golden go faster than Okie Dogi? I'm going to go out on a whim here and say it is. Um, And I should also be out of range of Ivy Cudgel here as long as it doesn't crit. So let's go for... Is it worth me ever going a water move here? Um, I don't think it changes anything, right? Hurricane's just a stronger move. Uh, and then we just Shadow Ball right and pray to God he doesn't go for the Ivy Cudgel. If he hits himself, even better. Super RNG. Damn, okay. We live this as long as it doesn't crit. And we lived it. Great. Now we've also got to dodge the Snarl. Unless this one shot, but I'm guessing it's AV if he's got Snarl. Yeah, that's AV. No way you eat plus two that easy. Worst part about Snarl too, if, if he wakes up here, is he breaks my Sash and he kills my Golden Go. It's not a great combo if I'm being honest. And he stays asleep. Okay, that's massive. Giving gold that extra turn of, like, regen here is also, like, just so big. Um, so we know we outspeed the Okie Dogi. That's good. Clef. Mmm. Clef is kind of annoying. Actually, no. We outspeed here. This is fine. We just make it rain. This is a okay. -okay. We just go Hurricane, right? We make it rain. I feel like Clef shouldn't live this no matter what, right? At plus two. I still can't believe he just like spammed out that Ivy Cudgel though in front of a Terra Water Amoongus. Like that was like that was so free. I could have just like plotted. Oh, of course he does that. All right, well, fingers crossed Okie Dokie goes down to this. I want to say it will, but I guess we're about to find out, right? But um, but yeah, regardless, um, yeah, going for like that play was kind of wild. I guess like maybe he just predicted I wasn't going to go for the water. Um, uh, sorry, I didn't want to eat the grass attack, but still. Oh my God, that just ate. And Snarl, it's going to pick up, isn't it? Yeah, hits both. Unfortunate. Um, the issue here is I kind of need a spread attack, I think, if I want to really, um, really close this game out. I think going like Amoonga Spore here is fine. There's no way they're safety goggles. Uh, and then I can just start putting everything to sleep again. Yeah, I think this is fine. Let's go for a confusion. Nah, what am I doing? We'll go the other way around. Go hurricane here and then we spore, the, spore here. 
Ideally, I want to pick up, but even at minus one, this Okie Dokie might tank it. Like, it seems really bulky on the special end. Which, I mean, I get it, right? Like, the mod's already so bulky on the physical end that, um... You don't want to eat too much from, like, Flutter Mains and whatnot, but... Still, it's kind of rogue. Um, I also need to keep an eye on my rain turns as well. Helper, like, I'm gonna... Most likely, I'm gonna need it to set up a second uh, set of rain just so I can spam up more Hurricanes. Um, but I also do feel pretty comfortable right now just, like, sporing everything. Because if I pick up the KO and Sleep Clef, um, depending on his last mon is, I can just go for like a Spore Swap and then like Side Pole and Puff um, if, if I need more HP on the Salamence. Oh, okay, he perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Show me what this is. Okay, Blood Moon Ursa Luna. That is fine because I... Hmm, that's not fine. Because now he's going to... Wait, didn't the Clef... Call me crazy. Did he just double protect the Clef? Oh my god, double confusion. Oh, dude, I really wish I was paying better attention. Clef hasn't clicked a move, right? Is that double protect? Rain stops. That's okay. Um, Yeah, this is where we get Ment in. What, what's the special stat on Ment? It's high, right? Not really. Not really. Get Ment in here. Um, and let's just go for a Spore, right? I'm guessing the Amoongus will most likely just... So not the Amoongus. The Clefairy will most likely just redirect here as my opponent, opponent goes for a Hyper Voice. Um... Uh, maybe was like makes me wonder was like wide guard ever the play there like going just like for wide guard plus um he goes helping hand oh if this is a hyper voice salamence probably dies here self hit nah oh i got it all right that might actually be game over now yeah damn i mean look i didn't get one earlier but i did double confuse so you know, is what it is, uh, unfortunately for my opponent. I'm really curious to know if a Helping Hand Hyper Voice would have carried my Ursa Luna just then. So not my Ursa Luna, my, my Salamence. Um, I mean, what is the point in ever aiming Clef? Just aim next to it and pray to God my opponent um, just clicks Protect or something. Battle was cancelled, yeah. GG. But that was unfortunate. The, the flinch really sucks. Um, it, It's hard to though, right? Because I don't actually know if my opponent would have had the Firepower Endgame. Because it would have just been a Moonga spamming Spore. Um, we knew that my my Pelipper was the fastest thing in the game. And I also would have had Weather Bowl and Rain Reset. Um, and at that point, like, I, I would have I would have definitely slept the, the Ursa Luna. The only difference there is maybe... Like, if he Blood Mooned my... My, what's it called? My Amoongus and one-shot it. But even then, Pelipper coming back in, I'm free just to go, like, Weather Ball plus Hurricane into that slot. And I, th I think it's just GG at that point, right? I, I still don't think he had a chance. Like, the only way there is if he, like, Hyper Voice KOs both. Um, but anyway, look, GG to my opponent. Um, good game on for us. Okay. Um, is this James Beck Rain? I want to say this is James Beck Rain, right? Um, booster Bundle, absolutely essential in this game. Um, getting up my own Tailwind is also probably really important. Uh, the question is, I want to lead boost the bundle. Um, this bundle's like super bulky, right? Like on the... Yeah, that physical bulk's really, really high. And the speed's quite low. But I believe this is boost a special attack flood main off memory. Um, how do I want to play this? I honestly don't hate hands... I think something like this on lead with like maybe Salamence Pelly in the back is good. Like I don't love Golden Go into this team. Like sure, Make It Rain does a lot of damage, but I'm worried it's just gonna die before it ever clicks it. Um, and while the Moongus is nice, it's you know there's a few ways to one shot it. He has Taunt, um, and look, Iron Hands is just a great lead into a lot of Tornadoes as well. Picking up their Taunt turn one is like never a bad thing. Um, plus you could also see a world where if he brings the uh, the the Lando and doesn't go Terra Terra flying, it could be in a big, you know, big world of trouble, just basically not being able to kill like, anything onto my double flying types with uh, the wide guard. Uh, and perfect. So this is the exact lead I wanted. Um, so he should... Ooh. I don't know the calc on this. Does Horn Leech one-shot my bundle? I guess the question is, how important do I think... 
Nah, you know what? I don't want to risk it. Let's just go for the one shot here and let's just go for the one shot here and pray to God. Because I could see a world in where he just like goes like Tailwind Horn Leech right now and I just KO both his bonds. If he goes Terra, Terra Water, it's a bit different. We're definitely not one shotting. Uh, but if he goes Terra Water, it also means he's food to the hands later, which um obviously is very, very important. So see how this goes. I do think Iron Hand has a fantastic matchup here though. Okay, I Terra first. Perfect. Oh, actually not perfect because I'm technically still faster than Ogre Point at this point, aren't I? Technically, I'm the fastest thing on the board still, so my Terra is always going first. Please Horn Leech that slot. If he Horn Leeches that slot, I think it could almost be over off rip here. Oh, he Spiky Shield. Okay, that's fine. Um, Not ideal, obviously, having to use my Terra there. Um, And he goes Tailwind. That's fine. But now I'm in a position where I could always just go, like, potentially just pivot out my Iron Hands as I Protect. Um, and then go from there. The major, major issue we'll see here, though, is if he brings out, like, Urshifu. Um, actually, Urshifu's not bad, because I think my Salamence is just free on that board, right? Like, there's nothing my opponent really does into, like, that board state of, like... Yeah, like, uh, Urshifu resists everything. Rain won't be up. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, he goes Urshifu. That'd be, like, ideal here. The Scholar. Please be Urshifu. It's fucking Fluttermane. Okay, so Fluttermane wants to KO you. Iron Hands, your Assault Vest. What's your Spadef stat looking like? Uh, 110. Okay, so they're 172 invested. Heavy Slam obviously does one shot here. Um, I don't want to set up the rain for them, man. Oh. He still has his Terror available too. This is actually like... I don't know how I beat the Fluttermane in the back, if I'm being honest. <laughs> uh, sorry, the Fluttermane with what I have in the back. Um, I think we have to go Protect here, and I think we have to go Heavy Slam. I don't see a way through this. Uh, yeah, if he goes Terra Fairy right now, I think it's game over. Please be Terra Water to live the um, the Freeze Dry. Fuck. So, basically, at this point, our win condition now becomes... Our opponent has to lock into, like, Dazzling Gleam next turn, thinking the board's free. Oh my god, okay, he's gone Gleam, he's gone Gleam. Which means Iron Hands lives this. Iron Hands definitely lives this. I shouldn't say definitely, Specs Gleam might kill. But he lives this, he lives this. Oh, hold! Yes! Okay, okay, okay. We're in it, we're in it, we're in it. Always commit to the Moon Blast, boys. I'm telling you right now, commit to the freaking Moon Blast. Got him. Red avoided. Like, I... I the thing is, if he wants to care, like, I, I think you always have to Moonblast it. You always have to Moonblast the Iron Hands. Gleam's never killing there. E even if he specs, I think we still live a, a Gleam there. Because, like, what, 70% power? That, that's, like, a 60 base power attack, yeah? Like, and he knows I've got AV. He knows I've got AV. Um, okay, so Bundle is in Sucker Punch range, which kind of sucks. I'm not going to lie. Um, Salamence here is super free, but the issue is going to be... Does he ever Icicle Crash right? I think we have to do this and pray to God he goes Sucker. Because if he goes Sucker with this defense investment on top of our... Um, uh, the defense investment on top of our um, Intimidate here. I, uh, but it's super effective. It's hard. I mean, getting the Intimidate down here regardless is really good into these two mons. He goes the throat drop. We live that surely. Oh my god. Easy. Oh. Fucking easy. Give me that. Yeah, there's one more turn of Tailwind left, isn't there? Dude, like, I can't believe how well that just ate that. Like, the, I thought this game was, like, done, done, dude. One turn left to Tailwind. Ah, uh, this is fine. We just give him Pelipper now. Um, we just go Protect, and we go Pelly. Play it smart. Like, I, I think regardless, the game's done. And he goes GG, yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure we would've won there if we'd just gone, like, you know, Freeze Dry plus, like, Air Slash. I'm sure we would've got through it in the end, but... I want to make sure, like, I always play to my outs, especially with, like, events coming up and whatnot. It's I think it's, it's very important to, like, you know, just make sure I constantly get that Intimidate out there. Like, I think Protecting, getting Pelipper in, who's... Much of a muchness in that game. Get out a potential second Intimidate, you know, if he does get him on down. And at that point, at minus two, he can't do anything. So, 
Uh, yeah, anyway, GG to my opponent. Cool team. Really freaking scary. Um, I think had they Moonblasted my Iron Hands, it was probably a different game. Um, but that's why it's really important to know your calcs. This is... Um, this is something. So... If I had to guess, this is definitely a Rabombi Tailwind. Or also like Rabombi QD next to Oracorio. Um, regardless, that's all freaking scary. What is my way through an Iron Defense Terra Seal Kamoo here? Uh, it's just Amoongus, isn't it? He double birds me, because that's ghost bird, right? Which means he beats this. I think we I think we go really slow with these two, and then we bring rain in the back. I really like having Pelly, uh Pelly Salamence for the Blood Moon Ursa Luna. Um they're both also really good into Ogreporn as well. Um the biggest issue is obviously going to be this Kamoo, but I have a funny feeling that Spore plus a little bit of uh, air slash flinches might be our best way through it. Um, I guess too, if he ever goes Terra Steel, like we could probably like Spore inside Pole and pop our Iron Hands and just win it that way. But uh, obviously we're going to have to wait and see how they want to lead this here. I'm kind of scared of double bird, just double QD. And there it is. Okay. Yeah, this is why I led this. Um, the question here has always got to be, right... Terroring Amoongus is always happening here, and we're always sporing right. And do I want to fake out or wild charge here? I could heavy slam. I just feel like this is this is either Terror Ghost or it's Covet Cloak, right? It's Terror Ghost or it's Covet Cloak. There's there's nothing else for this thing to be, right? Fuck! I could have faked it out. Could have faked it out. It's probably just like I assume it's just Sash, like Sash Terror Ghost, right? It makes the most sense. Oh, come on, Amoongus. I mean, look, we might still just one-shot Rabombi if it's not Sash here. Okay, and he goes to the Quiver Dance. He didn't Terra either, which means he has no way to hit my Iron Hand super effectively. Um, and if this guy sleeps, he's just getting one-shot. So that's fine. Watching be safety goggles here and my game's done. And he goes Air Slash into Shroom. Dude, we eat that without a terror. Now, just don't flinch. Okay, so it was Sash. Dude, that's so rogue. If I faked him out there, that game was just over. Okay, and we got the spore off. Sick, sick, sick. Now, I don't care as much about the Rabombi slot anymore. I am going to spore it rather than attack it, and I am going to just wild charge left. We know he's not Sash, so even if he goes terror, it's probably still going down. Um, what terror would you want to ghost? Probably fairy, right? That would be my guess. Like wild charge should still do a bit of damage to this, even if he goes to a fairy. And he goes gleam. Oh, we eat those. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, what the hell happened to my Amoongus? Sleep. So he goes down. We sleep the Rabombi. Puts us in a really good position. Because what this kind of allows us to do now is we have the option to pivot intimidate if we want. We have the option to potentially side pole and puff. Uh, we could, you know, pivot and sleep. We could swap out our regenerator. A lot of things we can do here. And good night, Rabombi. To guaranteed sleep this turn as well, which is really, really nice. Um, and we get to see how they want to play this here. Alright, so what are we going up against? Okay, Water Ogre Pawn. Yeah, so this is what we were talking about um, being free, right? So Salamence can just come in here. Um, and we'll just get our 1 HP back here. I mean, does Terra Water Ivy Cudgel ever KO, right? Like, maybe? But at the same time, I feel like Horn Leeching my Amoongus is like by far the most obvious play. Um, because if he ever goes Terra Water, it's like over for him, right? But if he goes Terra Water, I just put him back to sleep. And if he's minus one two, the the Horn Leeches won't be doing enough damage, I don't think. He withdraws the re wait a minute. He actually withdrew it. Dude, what's he sending in? Oh my god! 
God tier drain punch. Just don't die here. Don't go down. There's no, nah, no way. Like he would have to terror crit the Ivy Cudgel if he's going to carry me right now on the iron hands. Oh no, he actually went for it. Hmm. Easy. Yummy, nutritious and delicious. Give it all back. Mmm, yummy. And guess what, Okapawn? Oh, I don't have Terra. You're what the kids would call in my range, baby. Surely there's like an Earth Power being fired at the right slot here. Oh, mm -mm. I wonder if Air Slash was a better play there. Because I'm probably not KOing this, right? I'm like Timid 252 Special Attack. Of course he goes Terra Water here too. Oh, unless he's Terra Ghost to dodge the Drain Punch. Easy. Write him like a book. Did he not respect the Salamence to KO him just then? I mean, sure, I would have had to like risk a 30% chance, but I would have just KO'd him there. Hyper boys, that's fine. We eat these, right? We eat these, right? Yeah, boys. Yeah, the boys. Oh, yeah, Rabombi, you sleep, cur. I mean, the game's done anyway. I just want to style on him. Blink, 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 blink. Give me the Rabombi. You don't know I'm Choice Guy. I mean, um, I guess he doesn't know I'm Toy Scarf. Chances are that's like a bulky Ogre Pawn, but show me the Hyper Voice. Show me the Hyper Voice. Watch him just Blood Moon my Salamence. Ah, I got him. Got him. Dude, Amoongus is still good, boys. I'm telling you. Spore, busted move. Sleep everything. And then Salamence, completing the sweep, baby. Let's just Weather Ball for GP. Battle is cancelled. Damn, not a single opponent tonight actually let us, uh, you know, let, let, none of them let us actually take the, uh, the final care, which is kind of sad. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but anyway, boys, um, it's a busy night for me, so that is unfortunate. Going to be the last battle here, but look, we went 3-0. The team actually performed incredibly, incredibly well. Um, watching that Salamence, uh, one shot, what I'm assuming was a bulky Ogre Pawn is actually really, really cool. Um, but yeah, anyway, guys, that's going to be it. Um, of course, guys, make sure you check out the, uh, the creators of this team. As I said, I'll link their Twitters down below. Um, massive shout out to them. Obviously, really cool team. Uh, and super fun for me just to use Salamence, one of my favorite Pokemon, uh, that I really haven't tested since Series 1. So, that was awesome. Uh, but guys, of course, if you got to this point of the video, if you could, obviously, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. It means the world to me. Um, yeah, catch you in the next one. Peace.